Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to demonstrate you a very important topic related to multicolor flow cytometry data analysis in Flojo. And compensation play a very crucial role in your data analysis, especially when performing multicolor experiments. And in this tutorial, I will show you an advanced method for compensating your experiment through matrix editing. And this unique approach will elevate your flow cytometry data analysis skill to a whole new level. Let's get started. But before going through this tutorial, here I want to show you the detail of experiment and the data that I am going to use for this tutorial. So you can see I am using 14 color panel for my experiment for identification of different CD4 T cell subset from human PBMCs. You can see here I gated the CD4 T cell from the lymphocyte population and further I gated different CD4 subpopulation TH2, TH1, TH9, TH17, T helper, T follicular helper, term memory, NAV, central memory, T regulatory cell and TR1 cell and I acquired this data in BD LSR Protesa machine you can see here the configuration detail this machine have the four laser blue red violet yellow green laser apart from this here I am showing the detailed information about the experiment. Experiment CD4 T cell the population sample human PBMC. First group is single strain bead control for compensation during sample apposition. So you can prepare the single strain bead control using the bead for every parameter that you have in your panel. Except the live dead parameter you have to use the cells in place of bead so that you can use this parameter for compensating the machine. But you can use the cells as well in place of bead but in that case you have to use the pan marker like in my case I am using the CD4 T cell or lymphocyte so I selected the CD3 CD4 marker having the different fluorochrome you can use anyone like CD3 or CD4 on different fluorochrome to make the single stain bead control so in my case I use the cells stained with the CD3 or CD4 bit desired or the, the parameter that I have in my staining panel and the next is single stain control for compensation for the analysis this is very important group so I included this single strain control for every parameter that I have in my panel you can see here 14 parameter and one unstained tube so you have to stain the same antibody that you are using in your panel like 349b fit C you have to make a single strain tube for this parameter and like this for each parameter you have to prepare the single strain tube and I also advise you to stain with the live dead so that we can get the signal on the live cell for accurate compensating the data and the third group you can see test group control sample and treatment along with the fmo now you can see the new workspace in my flojo software and i'm going to drag and drop the beat control that i prepare using the cells and i'm also going to create group for the single stain and the test sample These are the single stain. I am going to drag and drop my single stain group, the test, and the test sample group. So now I am going to show you the conventional way for the compensation. I am just going to double click on my unstained control, selecting the population. So here, in my case, it is lymphocyte, and adding this group my compensation group now you can click here on this icon select your parameter that you have in your panel here you can see compensation window is open and the first thing you have to check here the parameter and the sample tube should be the same otherwise you will not be able to compensate your experiment so everything is right in my case but you have to take care of this and here you can see the compensation method is traditional but you can also use the auto spill or auto spread to compensate the experiment and you can check the plot for each parameter and you can adjust if you want to adjust any gate here like in case of per CP you can see negative population is selected so I am going to change the location of this positive population and now you can apply your compensation to your group or all sample or you can also drag and drop to your 
group to apply the compensation you can see it is now showing red color here you can change the color as well from here for any compensation group like this you can also apply to the test sample in this way you can apply the compensation very easily in your data analysis but today i'm going to show you how you can improve your compensation by using the matrix editing so if you click here on the view matrix you can see the matrix window is open and first i'm going to save the workspace matrix window is open and at the top you can see the edit option is showing here and if you click here this is confirmation window if you press yes now a copy of compensation is generated and you can rename this compensation now we can edit the compensation to adjust our population now i'm going to select the single stain group and first i'm selecting the cxcr5 as i said earlier that i stain the single stain from the live dead as well so first i'm getting the lymphocyte then live dead These are the live population in my case. I am going to apply this in my group and I am going to just double click and here at the left side I am going to select the parameter that this tube has like CXCR5 VB421. So I am going to select the parameter CXCR5 and I am going to change the type of the plot so i'm going to use the contour plot but you can use whatever you want and if you change the parameter first here like cd3 i'm going to transform the axis y axis as well so we are looking for the single strain cxcr5 vb421 and in the matrix i have selected the compensation that we have created the new copy like we can edit this compensation and i am going to select the sample single strain cxcr5 and the preview population the live cell because we have created cxcr5 versus cd3 on live population and if you uncheck this overlay of uncompensated so you can see the population cxcr5 so you just zoom little bit so here you can see the cxcr5 parameter and and in case of m sign that is bb510 the population is deviated from the axis and like this in vb605 condition as well so how we can correct this that's why creating matrix is very important to correct the data using single stain so first i'm going to show you for cxcr5421 i'm going to close all other sample so to edit the matrix you have to make a quadrant here and you have to select the population that is highly positive for cxcr5 because we are using this single strain first versus cd3 and you can see the quadrant 1 2 3 4 quadrant 1 have the highly positive uh, stain for cxcr5 population and in this single strain group here you can see the population is showing quadrant 1 2 3 4 so you have to select the quadrant 1 and 4 and click here on the workspace median and you have to select the parameter that you have at x-axis like in for the first condition it is cd3 so select the cd3 so we are looking for the median of cd3 at quadrant 1 and 4 quadrant 1 is highly positive for the cxcr5 and quadrant 4 is negative for cxcr5 and you have to see the value of median in both the quadrant 1 and 4 make sure that these value are nearly similar like plus minus 5 and if not you have to adjust the matrix parameter so that median is similar in quadrant 1 and 4 and you have to select the parameter the compensation matrix cxcr5 you can see the cxcr5 
here and drag the this window to the cxcr file so that you can edit this horizontal line for all the parameters here you can see the apc size 7 cd3 if you cd3 like this in this case maybe you can see the plot if you select again cxcr5 quadrant gate is added here for the cxcr5 bb421 cd3 then select again the x-axis parameter and change the other parameter like the next is alexa 4 488 cd49b transform the axis again make the quadrant now select the quadrant 1 and 4 for the cd49b parameter for cxcr5 bb421 now select median and the parameter on x axis here you can see the median value of cd port 9b in quadrant 1 and 4 due to continuous name of the quadrant you can see 5 and 8 5 and 8 here and you can see the median value 234 in the quadrant 1 and the quadrant 4 168 in the quadrant 4 so we have to adjust the matrix value here so that we can get the similar median value for cd 49 b so we have to see the cd 49 b parameter here so this is cd 49 b column and i'm going to change the value here minus to 0 press enter now you can see value is change 122 and quadrant 4 is 162 you can see the cell is shifted from right to left side but you have to make the median value nearly equal so i'm going to change the value here 0 0.4642 so i'm going to change the value 4 to 3 press enter so here i just want to give you very important tricks that if you make the small changes this will not so you very easily so just try to put any random value like one and then again put the zero press enter then you can see the changes like 163 134 again i'm going to change the three to two press enter 46 now i'm going to change again two to one going to change one to zero so you have to adjust the value so that you can get the similar median value in quadrant one and four so now you can see 169 and 165 so we can so we have to adjust like this for each parameter next i'm going to select the next parameter cd25 change the transform the axis make quadrant median cd25 in this case so nearly similar median value of cd25 so i'm not going to change the value in the matrix so you can check the value by adjusting the quadrant little bit upside and downside if there is no uh, significant change then it is good for the matrix editing or compensation so in this way you have to select the next parameter cd4 transform the axis make the quadrant again select the quadrant 1 and 4 median for cd4 now you can see 13.4 and 8.68 so i'm going to adjust the median for quadrant 1 from the matrix to decrease the value of quadrant 1 you have to increase the amount in the matrix so cd4 is alexa 4 700 in this column so i'm going to edit this value so 0.2312 random value so cell is shifted very much at the left side so i'm going to change the value here 0.221 value not changing so i'm going to put here one let's enter again put zero press enter 
so i'm just putting the zero and one to change the value because if you are changing very small amount this will not refresh the data so that's why i am putting the one and zero or the same value just to change the value in the small amount so you have to keep in mind so press enter now you can see the 7.6 and minus 4.96 and I'm going to decrease the amount here. Value well, not changing, so I'm going to put one, press enter again, zero, press enter. Now you can see value is nearly similar in quadrant one and quadrant four. So you have to adjust the median of quadrant one and quadrant four using the matrix. In this way, you have to select the next parameter, live date. You can see cell is very much shifted towards the left side so you have to adjust this value i'm going to make the quadrant and select the quadrant one four median live date so we have to increase the value so i'm going to decrease the amount in the matrix m sign six year five eight i'm going to change eight to five so now it is I'm going to decrease a little bit more. three. So you can see cell is shifted to the right side and value is 286 and 266. Increase the value 3.9 4.2 or 1 4.2 now you can see the value is 254 and 265 i'm going to leave this so in this way you have to adjust your median value for the parameter present at the x-axis so we are working on the parameter cxcr5 bb421 in the single strain group so in this way you can edit the matrix for this parameter for every other parameter in your staining panel so i'm not going to show you for each parameter but after finishing this for each parameter you have to select the next parameter like if you click here this is leg 3 bb 786 so you have to select the y axis leg 3 and again you have to follow the same thing for all other parameter for leg 3 to edit the matrix so in this way you have to edit the matrix for each parameter against every other parameter and you have to adjust the median first and fourth quadrant nearly equal or plus minus five or maximum ten and the only thing that i want to discuss about the live dead stain so in that case you have to change the value because i'm going to change the live dead parameter you can see here in that case you cannot use the live population because you will not get any positive population so you have to use the lymphocyte in place of live cell so that you can get the some positive for live dead stain so you can see you can adjust the gate so that you can get the some dead cell and you can create the quadrant this is six year five not the if you go through the sample now here you can see here i am selecting the lymphocyte not the live cell as in all other parameters so you have to take care about this only one thing you have to change in the zombie aqua or live dead stain you have to use the lymphocyte or the population having the dead stain so that you can make the quadrant and edit the matrix in this way you can edit the matrix and get your population accurately and if you are facing any problem compensating your experiment in flow cytometry flow your software please let me know i will try to help you as soon as possible thank you for watching my video if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you